Hey everyone, it's Ethan Waldman with another Cloud Coach technology tip. And today I want to talk to you about the website IFT, IFTTT.com, short for If This Then That. Now I've talked about IFT before on the blog. It is a tool for automating things on the web. Uh, but today I just wanted to bring you an update because I've really started to use IFT more and more and I'm particularly interested between the interaction of various other platforms like Twitter, Craigslist, Facebook, etc. and Evernote because I use Evernote as my external brain. So I've logged into IFT. Um, you need to make a free account to do that. Um, but I'm going to go up to my recipes here. When you create one of these automatic things in if, that's called a recipe. And so I'm going to click on my recipes and just show you a couple of the recipes that I am using. Um, so for example, this very first one gets the RSS feed from my electric company. And if my town shows up on that outage page, it sends me a text message. So that's how I monitor whether the power is on at the tiny house. Um, scrolling down, this one, um, if I favorite a tweet, um, it's going to automatically create a note in my Evernote that is um, basically the text of that tweet. Um, and so that's really important to me because when I favorite a tweet, normally they just kind of go into the ether, but now I have a record of my saved tweets. They are in Evernote. Um, one more to show you is uh, Craigslist. Um, I searched local job offerings and local gigs um, for various keywords such as email marketing, WordPress, um, and what I do is I have uh, IFT recipes that automatically search Craigslist and send uh, any postings that match my search to an Evernote notebook. And so this is really useful for job seekers or for anyone who's searching for something on Craigslist. Um, so I'm going to take you through the process of creating a new recipe. Uh, I'm going to do another Twitter recipe. And my idea today is that when I tweet a quote that I want to save, I want to tell if, if I hashtag a tweet with hashtag quote to send that to my Evernote. So I'm going to go ahead and click, click Create a Recipe. So if this, then that. This is the basic format of the recipe. So I have to first tell if what my this is. And it's going to be a Twitter-related thing. So I scroll down and I find Twitter. And then there's a couple of different options for this trigger. And um, it could just be any new tweet by me. It could be a new link that I post to Twitter, but I'm going to say new tweet by you with hashtag. So this trigger happens every time I post a tweet with a specific hashtag. So the hashtag is going to be hashtag quote. I'll create that trigger. And so now we've got the recipe half done. We've told Ift what to look for. It's looking for a new tweet with a hashtag quote. Now I have to tell it what my that is. And as I said before, it's going to be Evernote. You could tell if to do any one of these things. It could post to your Facebook page. It could send an email in Gmail. But again, I'm going to just go with the Evernote. And check this out. There are all these different options. Create an image note. Create an audio note. Create a link note. Um, what we're going to do is going to, we're going to create a new note. And now this is where you tell Evernote and Ift what you want that note to look like. And so, so I actually think I'm going to get rid of some of this stuff because I don't really want to know my own Twitter username because it's only stuff that I'm tweeting. So I'm just going to have the tweet embed code, which is going to give me a link back to that tweet. And then I'm going to get the created at time. And I'm actually, I think I'm going to repeat that text one more time because I want the the quote to be in the body of the Evernote post and in the title. And I actually like this text no hashtag better because I don't need the hashtag in there. And I can tell Evernote what tags I want, what notebook I want it to do. 
I'm going to have it go into the default notebook. So I've just filled this form out, and now I'm going to hit Create Action. And it's just kind of reviewing for me. If I post a new tweet with the hashtag quote, then I want to create a note in my Evernote. And um, I can give this a description so that I can kind of know what I did later, but I think I'm pretty sure I know what I did. And I'm going to hit Create Recipe. And now the next step is going to be to give it a try. And I'll go to a new tweet. And I will say, the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dogs. Hashtag quote tweet. Now my last step is going to be to go to Evernote and just make sure that it worked. My next step is going to be to go to Evernote and just make sure that it worked. And there it is. It's the very first thing in my Evernote, and it looks like it did it exactly how I wanted. It's got the, the quote, it's got the tweet embed code, and it's got the date. That is an example of creating a recipe with IFT and just showing you how easy it is to use. I hope you enjoyed watching today's tech tip from Cloud Coach. You can view more videos that I've created on my blog. There should be a link floating around on your screen. And do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you never miss a tip.